What up boys, it's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. So, today we have a interesting one, kind of. Have you ever wondered what the Jugulus mod set does? Have you ever wondered how annoying these mods are to get? Have you ever wondered what a bad Helminth combination would be for Anaros? Well, we have pretty much all those answers for you today in this video. And we've also got an infested dog. That's not a predacite. So, before we get into it, make sure you sub to this YouTube channel if you're not already. And we'll be going over the infested monster, Anaros. And the Jugulus mod set. And you know what, while we're at it? Let's just do all the new infested mod sets on Anaros. Because you know what? His abilities are bad anyway, so we don't even need stats for them. So, we have the infested Anaros. With the Carnus Carapace, the Saxum Carapace, and the Jugulus Carapace mods. You also got strain consumed for flavor reasons. So let's start with these mod set bonuses. What are, what are these going to be doing? All right, so we first got the Carnus Carapace, the Carnus mod set. Killing an enemy with a heavy attack will grant evasion and immunity status effects for four seconds. With the full set bonus applied, it will be 30% evasion, and I think it's like six seconds. We've got the Saxum Carapace, which will be the Saxum mod set. Lifted enemies will explode on death, dealing up to 30% of their maximum health as impact damage in a 6 meter radius at max rank with all three of the mods equipped. We'll show you why we don't have all the mods equipped in a second here, but actually just for flavor reasons, let's also equip the, the final uh, mod set just so we can see these values because those mods are terrible. Just strap, they are terrible on the melee because it's going to be on your melee, your pistol, and your frame. All right, let's get that garbage on there. Easily see these now. All right, 30% health in a 6 meter radius. Uh, what it doesn't tell you here is that actually it will, um, if you kill a lifted enemy, it has no cooldown uh, for this ability. But if you don't, if you kill a non-lifted enemy, it's a two second cooldown. So it will work on non-lifted enemies as well. Make them explode in maximum health damage as impact in a radius. It also deals blast damage as well. Does not say that in the description of this mod card. So blast and impact. And finally, we got the Jugulus Carapace. Man, this mod is really annoying to get. Slam attacks manifest tendrils to lash enemies within 10 meters, stunning them for 3 seconds and dealing 75 puncture damage, cooldown 6 seconds. That is... Okay, let's explain what else it does, because it doesn't really tell you that much what's going on here. So, the amount of tendrils you create when you do a slam attack will scale with the melee combo multiplier. So, up to 12x multiplier or 13x with the Venka Prime, you get a bunch of tentacles that will uh, basically be based on where the enemies are. These tentacles will set the enemies up for finishers. Let's just quickly show that here. They'll set them up for finishers. And um, they will also stun them, I, I guess. The stuns cre create um, finishers, as you can see right here. Did a finisher on her. The finisher uh, effect lasts for quite a long duration. So if you are trying to do some finishers, there you go. Just slam them. Um, so yeah, this... The, the <laughs> Jugulus Carapace is very annoying to get. It actually comes from the Daimos uh, Infinite Bounty, or Endless Bounty, and it is an uncommon drop that you will basically never see. If you look at Warframe Market right now, they haven't buffed the drop rate somehow already. This mod goes for like 75, 80 plat at the lowest. So, yeah. Um, so, a nice thing about this this mod is actually you can use um, a, a combination in a... Like a stance that will have force slam attacks in it, like the Vitrica from the video a couple days ago. Um, there's slam attacks in the Temple Royale combo. It will actually uh, do the Jugulus, Jugulus slam thing. So let's just quickly show that here. If you equip more of the mod spot, uh, the mod set, you will actually be able to get a lower cooldown on this. As we see, it's a little bit longer of a cooldown as as we see right there. So I didn't even do an actual slam attack. Of course, the Vitrica does have those built-in um, glass shard things that you can you can pop if you um, you know throw the glass shard mid-air and then all that stuff. You know, it's kind of fun on the Vitrica. That enemy just exploded there. So we're using all three of those mod sets. Now, I don't really find the Car the Carnus mod set very important, so I wouldn't really bother with that one. That's the one that if you do a heavy attack kill, uh, it will actually give you evasion. There's no like hidden gimmick for that one. It doesn't like work on normal attacks or anything like that. Um, another thing we're, we're going to quickly go over as well. This Jugulus set, where it's going to uh, create the tendrils, it works on normal attacks too. You need to like double jump 
and uh, then when you normal attack, it will sometimes work. It doesn't always work, but it will sometimes work, especially on like gun blades. Let's actually switch back to the gun blade, because I believe it only works on gun blades where the normal attacks will cause uh, the tendrils to be created. It's pretty interesting, actually, that it does that. That is not on the wiki, at least yet. It probably is a bug. All right, Strofa. We have no Jugulus mods on the Strofa. Man, okay, here's the thing as well. These mods for the for the melees are not worth the slot. This one, Saxum Thorax. You need it for the full Saxum set. Increased impact and status chance. If you were to run the Helios mod set, or the Helios stat stick, we're running the Infested Dog, but you could just put them on here. And that's going to make it where you actually don't have to run these terrible mods on your melee. Give you the full bonus. So that's what I'd recommend to you, honestly. Um, but, you know, not everyone wants to do that. Like, I don't personally do heavy attack builds very often, so... Yeah, you could definitely do that if you didn't want to run... Because, like, like I said, it, you kind of have to, like, shoehorn a lot of stuff on there. So, um, let's do a double jump, and then we'll activate the bonus. You saw right there, the the bonus actually was applied there. Double jump. Get knocked over as a Naros. And as you see, the Jugulus mod set bonus did go off. I don't... I didn't... See where the tentacle went, though. Double jump again. Let's try a heavy attack. There's a tentacle right there. That was not a jumping attack, as you can see. So it does proc off of heavy attacks. And normal attacks, too, for that matter. There's a normal attack, and it created a tentacle. Tentacle was not in a very good spot, but it, it was a tentacle nonetheless. So let's talk about the, the Anaros build for a second here. So, since Anaros really doesn't care about stats besides... Health, armor, and then, like, I guess you could go for strength if you had a subsumed ability on here. We are going for Zata's Whisper for fashion frame purposes. Because if you didn't know this, Zata's Whisper, the subsumed ability from uh, Zaku, it covers you in infested goo. And that makes it so you're actually infested grossness on a Naros. That's the only reason we're doing this. For fashion frame purposes. So there you go. You're uglier now. All right, let's get some gameplay of this on the screen. Um, it's basically just, I wanted to show you guys that Jugulus Carapace uh, works on normal attacks. And Saxum Carapace, these mods right here, Saxum and Jugulus Carapace, come from the Endless Bounty, and they really, really suck to get. Um, these are also the mods, the infested mods that come from the that Endless Bounty, and I just got lucky for them to drop. They just give you increased impact, puncture, slash, and status chance. I guess you could technically use them for, I would say Saxum Spittle is really important. Or not really important. Really useful on the Kuba Nucor. But you don't need Jugulus Spines. You don't need Karnas Stinger. Um, especially if you're using if you're using a Kuba Nucor for condition overload proccing, you're most likely not going to be doing heavy attacks. So I'd say go for Saxon Spittle. Maybe Jugulus Spines if you like that CC. Um, if you're using like, something like a Heavy Blade. And then, all, by the way, never, never put those Saxon mods and Jugulus mods on your melee. They're, they're, they're terrible. The Karnas one's kind of okay if you're doing heavy attacks. Because that will give you increased uh, slash damage. See, Jugulus Barbs, plus Puncture, plus Stash Chance. You don't want that in your actual melee, let me tell you that. This one gives you sl slash damage and stash chance. You potentially could run this one. But I find this one to have the least important uh, set bonus because I don't really go for heavy attacks. So um, We will do a Strofa video in the near future. But just for the infested flavor, we're going to be going with the, um, the Plague QR Scythe. You get a full crit Plague QR Scythe here. Uh, with Vargit Tujai, Plague Aquin, and Plague Giwar. This thing has extremely low range, but pretty high damage, to be fair. So, uh, I haven't actually finished modding it out, because I just don't like this thing very much. But, um, yeah, we've got all three of the Jugulus mods in here. That will be what we're showing in the video. And if I had more mod space, I would throw on more, more important mods. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically just the gist of it. Alright, let's get into that gameplay. It's not really... It's not endurance viable. Of course... Um, you want to have uh, Weeping Wounds and Blood Rush running an Endurance run. This is Steel Path, uh, Steel Path Venus Survival, I think. So I'm just showing how it works. Um, not, I, I mean, I know a lot of people kind of don't appreciate <laughs> how I, I'm always like only really good OP one-shot stuff and all that. And I tell those people, right, to those people I say, quit being a baby. Here, is this, is this crappy build what you're looking for? Because here's a really crappy Anaros build with Zata's Whisper and an extremely low range melee weapon with three jugul three different mod sets at the same time. Is that what you want to see? Because there you go. Here's the video for you, dude. Now you can shut up and never complain ever again. 
as you see us two-shotting level 103 uh, Corpus. That's probably what you play the game like. I'm going to go ahead and just keep playing the game with actual good builds and post this as a joke. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, my opinion to you guys is if you want to get the Jugulus mod set, do not buy it. Do not farm for it. Just complain to DE on the forums or something like that and be like, hey, once you're done buffing those crappy companions from Dymos, how about you make the drop rate for the um, the Jugulus mod set not complete garbage too? Because there's a rare and an uncommon that are both really annoying to get for the Jugulus mod set. Um, they're supposed to drop from the Jugulus enemies, but I, I've never actually seen that happen. I think it just drops from the bounty as far as I'm aware. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, would not recommend anything in this video at all, um, except for Saxum, uh, Saxum Spittle, I think it's called, on the Kuva Nucor. As you can see right here, we have the uh, Zata's Whisper from Zaku on Anaros, and it is creating void damage. It makes the enemies shoot themselves instead of you, which is kind of nice. Um, and also keep in mind, they are going to be buffing void damage eventually, when, when whenever Daimos Arcana comes out, where the void proc will... It will seek in wherever you actually shot the enemy at. So if you shoot the enemy in the head, they will get void procced in their head and then shoot themselves in the face. So that's kind of funny. So either way, guys, talk to you next time. Um, better videos coming out soon for sure. Just kind of like thought this was a fun little joke thing. And, uh, you know, maybe someone maybe someone out there will appreciate it. I, I know that, like, you know, it's at least kind of cool to see the enemies explode. I think out of these three mod sets, the Saxum is my favorite because I like seeing things explode. Um, and making enemies explode in percent health damage is always a pretty fun thing. And the fact that it does blast and impact is, is nice. So, peace out, guys.